Hi, I'm Deborah Ginsberg, founder and CEO of Strategia Design. So we're here on our last video of our mini series called The Three Critical Elements of a Good Design Brief. Design briefs, as you know, are so very important when it comes to the overall success of a project. So I want to recap. In our first video, we talked about understanding your target market. When you can have an in-depth knowledge of who you are trying to communicate on shelf at the beginning of a project, you can help your design team create a package that really resonates with your consumer. Our second video, we talked about knowing the hierarchy of your communication, figuring out what claims and callouts you wanted to focus on and highlight, and then building the rest of the package around that. Having a cluttered front panel and too much copy will really create confusion on shelf, and you don't want to do that. So today we're here to wrap up the series and talk about the third element, which is knowing your packaging requirements and printing constraints. If your design team creates a beautiful and unique package, but your supply chain, your printer, or even your budget can't support it, then you have just wasted a lot of time and a lot of money. So here are some words to live by. Design with your regulatory requirements and print limitations in mind. So what do I mean by this? I mean make sure that you know and account for all the legal requirements. So let's start with an example. Net weight statement sizes are dictated by a package's square inch surface area. Nutrition fact panels have minimum point size requirements as well as rules around what horizontal or vertical or truncated format you can use. Other regulatory requirements dictate the size and ratio of the subdescriptors to the primary descriptors and so on and so on. There's a lot to remember. When you look at the print capabilities, you have to know what print method you're printing in. There is a vast difference between printing on litho, flexo, or rotogravure, and we're going to talk about that more in a future video. But you have to know what the minimum type sizes are, what the dot gains may be, and the tolerances. This is really important information to have up front because it's going to drastically reduce the amount of redos and extra work that you have to do with your pre-press agent, and it's going to keep your client from being disappointed because you won't be delivering something that you can't deliver. And that is one of my biggest pet peeves. Never design anything that you can't print on the press you're given and within the budget that you have. By addressing all these requirements and limitations up front, you're going to allow your design team to really maximize their design and their creativity and create something that you can execute in an affordable way. And you're going to reduce frustration and time and money and revisions down the road. So it's the best, the best information is to have all of the details up front in your design brief. You can never have enough information in a good design brief. And the earlier you can engage your design team or your design partner, the better. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back in our next video in two weeks, and we'd love to connect with you on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, or LinkedIn. But if you have any questions in between, just reach out to us at info at See you next time.